Phospholipids are the major component of cell membrane, and there are two types of phospholipids. First is the glycerophospholipids or phosphoglyceride, and the second is the sphingolipid. Let's start with type 1. Phosphoglyceride are derivative of phosphoteric acid, in which the structure gets modified to produce other phosphoglyceride. Phosphoglyceride is composed of glycerol backbone, phosphate group, fatty acid, and identity molecule. Glycerol contains three hydroxyl group, and the first two are esterified to different fatty acid, and the third one is esterified to phosphate group, in which then it is esterified into head group. Sterification is the name for a chemical reaction between alcohol and carboxylic acid to make an ester and water. So the carboxylic acid of fatty acid interact with alcohol of glycerol to make that ester bond. The number of carbons in the two fatty acids could be different. So it is not always the same. Also fatty acid could have a single bond or double bonds. The single bond fatty acid are called saturated fatty acid. And the double bond fatty acid are called unsaturated fatty acid. Also, the double bonds could be either cis or trans, and in case of cis, we have a kink. In case of having one double bonds, then it is called monounsaturated fatty acid. Yet, if there are more than one double bonds, then it is called polyunsaturated fatty acid. The third part of the phosphoglyceride is the phosphate group, and the last part of the phosphoglyceride is the identity molecule, or polar head group, in which the alcohol and the phosphate group interact with the identity molecule to produce a different phosphoglyceride. So the identity of the head group is what determines the name and the properties of the phosphoglyceride. And the common polar head groups for glycerol backbone are inositol, choline, and serine. For example, when having a serine as the identity molecule, the phosphoglyceride is then called phosphotidylserine. Now let's look at type 2. So sphingolipids are derivative of the lipid sphingosine, and sphingosine is the backbone of the sphingolipid. Sphingosine has one long and saturated tail. It is unsaturated due to its double bond. When the amino group interacts with the fatty acid carboxyl, it results in forming an amide bond. It produces a ceramid, which is the fundamental structure unit common to all sphingolipid. The sphingolipid can get more complex when a polar head group is esterified when interacting with the hydroxyl group of a ceramid. For example, a sphingomyelin, where it has a choline as the polar head group. Now let's look at how phosphoglyceride interact with water. So the circle include the identity molecule, phosphate group and glycerol backbone, and the tails are the fatty acid. Fatty acid are not polar, and that's due to their long chain of carbons that doesn't have the charge. And this is the reason why fatty acid don't interact with water. So they are called hydrophobic. However, the head group is a polar, and that's due to having a charge. So they do interact with water, as a result, the head group is hydrophilic. Phospholipids are referred to as amphipathic, and that due to its combination of having both hydrophilic and hydrophobic groups. 